So what this particular experiment showed us, that if somehow in a less risky way by, for example, gene editing, we may be able to manipulate this receptor or remove it without necessarily doing a bone marrow or stem cell transplant, then that may be the way forward in a more practical way to apply this to many more people. And people are actually working on that right now where they take a person's cells out of the body and by gene editing, manipulate out this particular receptor and then give the cells back to the person without having to do immunosuppression, without having to do a bone marrow transplant. And how far along are trials on that particular technique? Well, there are a number of centers that are actually doing that. Again, it's still early in the phase of testing, so it's not something that we could say looks like it's going to work, but clearly there are important laboratories with people with considerable experience in gene editing looking at this and trying it in individual cases. Thus far, there have not been successes in the sense of proving that that type of gene editing works. But everyone feels in the field that it's at least a promising way to pursue.